Hi friends, this is my fourth uh, video of this series. In this video, we are going to see how to write the test script. Since this is a Node.js framework, we no need to be a, a expert in JS coding because this framework is very simple and easy. Anyone can write the test case. Let's start. So this video agenda is how we can open a web page and navigate through the web page how we can look at the elements using expats uses select as okay. fill the fields which means the input text in the text box and then click the elements assertion grab value select option and wait with smart wait I'm just continuing my script from the last video i hope you have a basic setup and your script and you can able to run the basic test in the code search js so if you're not aware please uh, watch my previous video to how to come to this page how we can travel this far to, to have a basic understanding of code search js how to run a basic test i have provided my previous video link in my description okay let's dive the first option is the first title is opening up a page so maybe we have already seen uh, this as part of our previous video so that's a am on page is a command which we can use to navigate between pages or go through the open the page so i have created a new file which has am on page which i have called four types of uh, amon page commands so everything is simple super simple so the first one is already we have seen so amon page slash it just open a url which is already configured in the config file and just just launch the home page or whatever url configured second option is just a slash doodles which means it is going to add the particular page at end of the site URL which configured in the config file. The third option is to the direct launch. So it, it just to overwrite the config uh, URL just to open this particular website. The fourth option is similar just to open this particular website with the page. That's it. We run the script. In PXCoach.js run. I am using Playwright. Firefox browser first option google.com just open second is slash doodles the third is orange charm for this with this page that's it you opened everything and pass and closed it that's it so this is how we can how are the options are available to open a web page so ignore the second test case which already we have seen in the previous one so the following test case we're going to see how to look at the elements fill fields click element and assertion all in one example so I'm going to create my second test case scenario to test case to This is my second test case. The first option is always I go to the home page. So I just launch orange HRM site. So I'll be here once I open it. I'll be here. So once I'm logged in, so it's not logged in. Once I launch the browser, I want to verify, make sure I am a login page. So I just verify any particular element or field to ensure that I am launched successfully. I say I dot C. So it's just ensure okay I am a login page. Then next step is I will fill for the username. So I am using crow path. So I just simply right click inspect to find the expect or a uh, selector i am using crow path to make my job easier 
so I do have XPath for this particular username box ID name so you select all. I can use any of the options everything will work fine so for the first option I use XPath Let's copy my dot fill field I have to mention the XPath then come on what is the text I'm going to enter so it is admin so username is done next I'm going to enter the password inspect it this time I'm going to use the CSS selector so copy the CSS selector hash text password i dot fit double quotation x path comma second parameter what is the password that's it so third option i dot click the login button so right. this time i am going to use id copy quotation and now see this is x path this is css selector this is id so once we click this button I click this button we will be in the home page just to make sure i am in home page so open it to dashboard page i am in dashboard page not in log page so i will make sure i am there so I dot C dash I dot don't see of login panel. It's just a negative case violation. Negative boundary. Negative violation. So make sure okay, I'm in a dashboard I'm not and I'm not in there. Just want to see how to place the don't see method. So I just use this. So I am going to run this npx cursor.js run hyphen hyphen grep. The reason I'm using hyphen hyphen grep, I don't want to run all the two test cases. I just want to run only this particular test scenario. So I just mention the grep within single quotation. So this will run only with this this with this test case. It will just ignore the first test case as well as other test cases which are fine present in other files. So that's the use of grep. Anyway, for the run, so many options are available to run. So simply, it's a grep is a very simple and minor and very useful, handy. Um, in upcoming session, I will explain more detail about how to run with the different options available. So for now, I'm going to run it. Okay, demo feature is running. <coughs> Firefox launched, opening a page, username, password, okay, click, it's not worked, okay, it says button lock, it's not found, okay, whenever we are using ID, we just to make sure we use hash, so that is a useful rule, so let's try again. login clicked okay because okay uh, maybe my typo bad I dot sometime to make sure what is the text because it's I see is a cap letter I just typed only just give it one more try Open the page, enter username, password, click login button. It checks dashboard there and login panel is not there. Simple. So, this particular step will cover. So, this is how to mention assertion. So, we are validating something. So, this is also assertion. We are validating something not there. So, all both of these are assertion. And these are uh, fill fields, and this is click. 
and this is uh, three types of uh, locating an element so we covered uh, four topic in one uh, example so next is grab values this is third test case this is about test case grab text test so i am going to use a different url so i open this particular web page to get a uh, checkbox values this is the page i need to get the x path of this particular elements so i see checkboxes copy either you can use x path or select us so i just say i dot grab text from checkbox so whatever the values i'm getting from the checkbox i need to save it in a variable let's say let a equal to dot text from so in uh, js uh, we have to wait uh, here it's not a read up so it's not a some operation we are performing we need to wait for a particular time period to get this particular text and read it and store it in a variable so whenever we use grab to make sure there is a rule it's always should be an async function and always use await before the grab text simple so now i print console.log that's it so what it will do is like it open the web page grab text from this particular element and print it that's it it's run so i just use a grab grab text test only use the third test it will run only the third test case so once the browser go to the particular checkbox page and read it so now the console print will print to both text value which is showing the web page checkbox one checkbox two so you can do any operation using this particular grab, grab text from and store it in a variable you can play around with a variable you can do a number of functions up to your requirements according to your requirements now moving to the select options so for this case is select option simply change select option so for select option i do have a separate uh, page so you drop down i don't need uh, i don't need a sync i delete it so here i just see i dot select option so there's a two parameter i need to pass first one is the locator and second is the value of that drop down so just inspect it so you can see id as a drop down so i copy the id of the element so let's just the value values i can see option one I'm simply type what is there id you can see option one okay that's it so once this selected, I just wait for it for one second to see the result, otherwise it will quickly close it. So now I'm going to run this test case. Go sub JS run grab four. Yeah, option one selected. Close the browser. It's pretty fast. So the last topic is waiting. The smart wait. So wait is pro most probably we already seen one type of wait is uh, explicit wait. You just wait for a couple of seconds. It, if we mention I dot wait of one, it wait for one second. If we mention five, so wait for five seconds. So we need to. We're going to see a smart wait. 
So I'm going to create another test case. Wait. So there is a scenario dynamic load. So once I click this, so go to this page, I see a start button. Once I click the start button, it will start loading. It takes a couple of seconds. I got click. Okay, I click the start button. Then I wait for the normally wait for the option should available. Yeah, I simply use uh, wait for text. Let's see what happens when I click. So it may take one second, it may take 10 seconds or 20 seconds. So it, after the loading, it will say hello world exclamation. So I simply say hello world exclamation, comma. What's the time which we need to wait? So maximum we can say 20 seconds, but you don't wait for 20 seconds if that text is appearing within two seconds you just finish it off and go to the next step which is called a smart wait so i am going to run this particular test case yeah wait test so it's open the page dynamic content okay then you click the start button, take a couple of seconds, you do it. The particular text stop here. Okay, so it, it didn't wait for all 20 seconds. Uh, the fifth second or sixth second, the text up here, it just moved out of that step, moved, proceeded to next step. That's a good uh, smart wait function, we can save a lot of time. That's it. In this video, we have seen how to open a web page. Locating elements using XPath, CSS Sector, and ID name. Fill fields, click elements, assertion, grab values, select options, and wait. Thanks, friends. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.